This is part 16 of our Link's Awakening walkthrough. We just finished up the fourth dungeon of the game, and now we're going to be yeah, doing Angler's some... Tunnel, one of the toughest dungeons <laughs> in any Zelda game. And we're about to do uh, some item collecting, uh, including mm. getting Manpo's Mamba, the second song we get for the Ocarina. Mm. And this allows you to, like, warp, right? To, like, that pond or whatever? Is this what that song does? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess he's got his own little pond. It's right next to a... This guy does? Yeah. Which, how he fits in a pond, I don't know. Would you, yeah, you imagine it's a shallow again? pond, too. Like, you can walk in that pond, so there's no way this guy... That's not shallow water right there. No, no. But it's very convenient, though, because the pond is right next to uh, Crazy Tracy's house. Oh, I did not know that. So if you ever need to get a refill on the medicine to bring you back to life... Which Red does have to get one quite often, I, as I, you've seen throughout you've this. You've already seen it several times <laughs> in our videos here. I gotta go tra Crazy Tracy's again. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's actually really conveniently located for a few of the items we're going to be getting uh, mm -hmm. in this video, and also, I believe, in the next one, but... It's just, I think it's good to have that if you ever need quickly, hey, I gotta go refill this yeah, potion uh -huh. before I get in the next dungeon or whatever. Yeah. It's great to play. Plus, I think it's a catchy song anyway. Yeah, I think, I just like the fact now that we can actually swim. Oh my god. I mean, god. just like, I said this in some of our earlier videos, like, when we actually do get the flippers, it seems like it opens up the world so much. It, does. it just allows you to go places that you've really not been yet. It is really nice to finally have that ability. Uh -huh. One thing I like about the flippers in this, and I can't remember if they had it in Link to the Past, but you can actually, like, dive. No, you cannot dive in Link to the Past. You can dive in a Link Between Worlds. Correct. But not Link to the Past. And I use that frequently to avoid uh, getting hit by the Zoras that are in the yeah. water. <laughs> Somehow that heart piece we just got, I actually did find that one. It seems like every time I play a Zelda game for the first time, I get like two heart pieces. Oh my gosh, no, no, these bombers. Yeah, they get you. They have your number in. I've mentioned them in a previous <laughs> video, but I swear every one that appears on screen gets me. And it's me. hilarious. Like, every time you jump up to hit them, you always miss them, too. Oh, no, it's, they're, they're my nemesis, <laughs> for sure. They get me every single time. Now, right here, you saw we got that first heart piece in that uh, little cave right yeah, there. Uh -huh. We're actually about to go grab another one, which involves swimming all the way around this moat, which now, is kind how, of how would you find this one? I mean, it's just like, and you gotta die for it, right? Yeah. It's just in a random place in front of the castle. I, I can tell you, I definitely did not get this one yeah. the first time. And it's about six screens away from the nearest place you can get in the water. This goes back to like the original Legend of Zelda, where it's just like, uh, burn a bush. Yeah. Um, burn a dungeon. Yeah, burn, yeah, bur <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, here's a dungeon. Yeah. Play the whistle. Here's another dungeon. <laughs> and, and as you can well, kind of see and hear more than anything, uh, we, we've, uh, we've picked up a follower. Yes, the ghost. And it this just... annoying ghost who serves no purpose. Whatsoever. And, like, if you don't know where to take him... Now, luckily, I think I found this out pretty quick, because I think he might tell you that he lives on a house... Yeah. ...down by the beach if you if he's behind you for too long. Or he might say it just anyways. I'm not really sure. I know if you try to go into any other building except uh -huh. his house, he will say, no, this is not where you're supposed to take me. Okay, okay. So I actually think you can't enter another building as okay. long as he's following you. Okay. I just remember when he got on me. I remember not having that long, because I would have probably just quit this game <laughs> with him. And one thing right here with you can't really see the ghost very well with the recording software we're using. That ghost flickers a lot, and yeah. it just didn't pick him up very well. So it's just kind of one of those things that we really couldn't fix. But he's there the whole time behind us. If only we could have gotten rid of the noise. Too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, can the ghost get rid of the sound? Yeah, it's every single screen. I guess technically we could, we could. Well, we couldn't mute the ghost. We had to no. mute the whole gameplay audio. And we're not going to do that. But no. The next item we get in our uh, training sequence here is we gave our, our hibiscus, whatever it's hibiscus. called, our flower, hibiscus. to this goat lady who gives us a letter to take to You're her. You're supposed uh, to be the vocabulary and pronunciation guy, I, not I me. Know, I know, <laughs> I'm the hig, not you. <laughs> and, and, uh, but she gives us a letter to take uh, to her admirer or whatever, this uh -huh. guy, this pen pal or you know, romantic letters, whatever yeah. it is. And we're eventually going to be taking that to him, but we, we're going to get rid of this ghost first. Yeah, the pin pal started with Link's Awakening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the guy's name's Mr. Right, too, right? I know. I thought that's a nice little touch. It's like, she's yeah. looking for Mr. Right. Man, I remember seeing that mermaid, too. I was like, well, first of all, I couldn't even figure out how to get to that thing. Yeah, that's For the longest time, I was always like, what is that? And now, <laughs> I think you can move it and go underground, and yeah. I don't know, it's later on in our uh, walkthrough. We do eventually uh, get under there, but I... I it's and here's what pissed me off about this bush. Is that like I got the first time I got that secret seashell and I ended up going back there like twenty times thinking I would find something yeah. else. So you kept cutting the bush yes, every single uh -huh, time. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know why I kept on doing it for. Well, that's why it's great having the flippers now though. There's like a few of those little tricks like there's that bush you couldn't get to earlier. Uh, the uh -huh. two heart pieces obviously we got. Yes. And there's another bush we'll be getting in the next video that has a secret seashell under it that we've seen a few times and could only get to with the flippers now that we have them. Uh -huh. so, mm -hmm. Very convenient. 
In this house, actually, you can approach from a couple different ways. You can come from this direction, or you can come, if you're on the beach for some reason, you walk all the way to the end of the beach and go over, uh -huh. like, one more screen, yes. and you'll end up in the same house. So. And you see his, his ghost is kind of cranky. I would be cranky, too, if I had an Oceanside view house like yeah. that and they buried me up north i'd be really upset yeah he's buried nowhere near his i was thinking about that video or this i was watching this video today preparing i was like man i'd be so bad if they bury me up north when i had a house right here and i was plop your grave right there you yeah, a tree <laughs> bad tree in a perfect place i mean it's some prime real estate right there yep and you can see already that the song we just learned has come in handy because this is actually really close to the cemetery where we're going to be finally getting rid of this ghost yeah thank uh -huh. goodness and again, of course, Crazy Tracy's house. Yes. <laughs> Never a bad place to know where it is. And I didn't find this, uh, well, obviously it's in a graveyard, so it's not that hard. Yeah. I'm surprised, though. I would thought that I would have gone and checked, like, other graves. <laughs> but actually, I went to that one in the uh, upper left hand, like, right here. Yeah. I just was like, oh, that's got to be his. Well, yeah, you think, like, it's the only one that's off all by itself and everything. Uh-huh. It's just in a weird look. Actually, we're not even in the graveyard. It's, it's close. Yeah. It's close, but yeah. So why does he get his special place? Who See, knows? that's the thing, like, was there something special about this guy? We and why know. was his grave here? I mean, there's always a lot of questions we have in Zelda. Yeah. That, you know, you don't get the answers to. It's kind of like Lost. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh yeah, I just kind of wondered, like, you know, why does he have this standalone grave out here in the middle of nowhere? It's a nice little, uh... Zelda mysteries like who was that ghost? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we don't get his name, do we? Or anything no, like that? No, there's no sign in his house or anything. So, and the only reward we get for all this is a, is a secret seashell back at his house. Yeah, we should got like a. Where, there was a. Was there bottles in this game? There was not bottles in no, this game. No okay, jars, well, no bottles. No. Uh -huh. I guess I was thinking when he said jar that maybe we end up getting a bottle. Uh, or we just have to like lift that, and but, break a jar to get yeah, a secret before, seashell. But before we head back to his house to get our reward, we're first going to get the next couple items in the trading sequence which is going to start at Mr. Wright's house right here north of the Forbidden Woods. And this wraps up part 16 of Link's Awakening.